said the, the paraglioma patients were rare, we don't see so many in our department. That's what I mean by rare. It's rare in our patient group, but of course out in, in, uh, in the world there are many paragangliomas, so I, I should not, I'm, not, I should, I'm not an expert on that field actually. We have seen too few. It's the same with us and in, in the European Union and the Consumer Society. It's not, it's not a disease that's covered by the group. So it's been looked after by other endocrine oncologists. And that's why, you know, I have to say that because when you don't have, um, you know, you haven't been brought up and trained in a field like that, whether you're using MIBG, if it's uh, MIBG scan positive or, or PRT because it's Arcturus scan positive. We've seen a few patients come through to our neuroendocrine tumor clinic because we have some of the endocrinologists who are interested in that and they've sort of come up at our conference. Um, but, you know, can't claim to have real expertise in that from, that from the purely net group that we're dealing with. So that's why, that's why we're, it's being a little bit vague in it because, it, you know, you have to be, that be really solid and well trained to be able to sort of come up with that. You were, you were treated in the UK then, were you, I presume, yeah? And UCLH. So they're good and they've got a very good group there, but certainly the group in St. Thomas is really excellent. I mean, and they're developing, like we're saying, guidelines and proper strategy. And that's the way forward because, okay, you know, it's not as frequent as the digestive endocrine tumors that we're dealing with, but it's, it's sort of in the same ballpark in terms of the way it behaves, etc. So hopefully we'll be able to link in with some really proper group in the UK.